Let me make one thing clear. Architecture and engineering are two very different professions. One without the other is a recipe for disaster. An architecturally designed home with a lack of engineering input may be doomed in years to come, whilst an engineering masterpiece without any architectural input may lack the fundamental essentials making it an enjoyable environment to live in. Let's start with architecture. Architecture is the art or practice of designing and constructing buildings. As architects, we are trained to design around the human experience, to explore all factors interacting with the built form which contribute to the quality of everyday life. Good architecture is often subliminal and unappreciated. You won't realise how carefully thought out each detail is until you are overwhelmed and confused in a space that lacks the basic architectural principles. Architects focus on the environmental and psychological factors surrounding the design, from the sun paths and the wind paths to the impact of colour on mood. Our role is to ensure a house feels like a home, that it is comfortable and practical, whilst at the same time, spaces evoke emotion and forms follow function. We draw upon the surrounding information to form colour palettes, organic shapes and unique stories around the client, aspiring to create a dwelling that is as unique as they are. Often an architect's role is to coordinate all design professionals in the project. This could be one consultant or over a dozen at any given time. Architects are traditionally very creative individuals, but to be successful in architecture, we tend to spend a large portion of our time discussing laws. In the end, we are often manipulating our original ideas to suit these constrictions. Architects also manage the building contracts during construction for clients, ensuring that neither party is being taken advantage of that the design is coming to life as imagined and that the project stays on time and on budget. If you're looking for a checklist to help you with your architectural designs from sketch to construction documentation, be sure to check out the links in the description and download your very own digital checklist. Engineers, on the other hand, are often brilliant people. They are traditionally trained in one or two areas, be it structural, civil, electrical, hydraulic or even mechanical engineering as an example. It is very rare that one engineer is both educated and qualified in all fields. When it comes to residential architecture, structural engineers are the most common, so we will focus on them. Structural engineers are trained to design the bones and muscles of the built form. Their precise calculations ensure that the ideas of an architect stand the test of time. Good structural engineers know the exact tension and breaking point of each structural element, thus knowing exactly how far to push the boundaries without ever tipping the balance that little bit too far. Structural engineers focus on the construction and buildability of the design whilst factoring in elements such as live loads and dead loads. A live load, for example, is considered to be people or goods in a building. Things that are ever changing and ever moving. Vehicles are something that would be considered a live load. Dead loads are often permanent. They will always be there and they are often unchanged. But don't be fooled. Structural engineers aren't just worried about the elements they specify or the people interacting with the building. They also have to consider mother nature at her worst. Structural engineers are the reason buildings stand the test of time. While skyscrapers don't fall down during earthquakes, structural engineers are the mortar to the brick. Without them, even the best design will eventually crumble. A good structural engineer is worth their weight and their fee in gold. If you're new here, my name is David Tomic and on this channel we talk all things architecture and technology. If that is something that interests you, there aren't too many architecture channels here on YouTube. So be sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and as always, I'll see you next Monday.